Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. For today, I wanted to show you how can you easily create multi-layout routing in Angular application. And for that, we won't use any third party or any type of a flagging. We will use just Angular routing. On my screen, you could kind of see that uh, odd route of my application. There is just the login button inside. But also, I could change my route to go into a slash dashboard and at that point you will see that kind of header with the dashboard and the dashboard works uh, uh, component. So at this point I have two layouts, one layout, uh, both of those are in same application, but uh, one layout is uh, mainly for the authentication part, like uh, logging in, re uh, register, etc. And uh, the dashboard layout is just for the dashboard side. Also, for example, if I wish to have a website uh, layout uh, combined in application, I could do that with routing. So, without further introduction, let's create our application here and set up the multi-layout routing uh, for the Angular application. So for this tutorial, I expect you to know at least the basics of Angular and Angular routing. So uh, first of all, let's generate our application here. So ng new to generate new application. And we could call this routing app just for the example. Angular will usually ask us a couple of questions. Uh, so I don't really need a strict uh, typing here. I will say no to that. Angular routing to setup. Yes, I will need that. And CSS is good uh, style sheet format for us here. So let's wait a bit and uh, come back once everything is installed for us here. So now that everything is installed, let me clear this a bit. I could go into my routing app by typing cd routing app and we could run our local server here. I will first use code that to open up uh, my code in Visual Studio Code. And what we can see if I open up the source app, there is at least default uh, content from Angular. So now let's go back and run ng serve and use dash dash open flag to immediately open our application on a local server. So once everything is done, we can see our default content on our local host. And this is basically the default content from Angular itself. So as we will work with our routing, we will need a couple of components for routing, at least uh, some layout components and the components that we wish to uh, render on our screen. So for that, I will divide my terminal here. So now on my left side of the terminal, I am still running my local host. And on the right side, I could uh, create some components. So first of all, I wish to generate some layout components that I wish to use. So ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate it in layouts uh, folder. And first component will be called odd layout. And I will pass skip tests flag here. So the Angular doesn't generate any test file for us. And also I will have mo one more layout and it will be called dashboard layout same in the layouts folder and now these two components will be main components for us where we will uh, uh, render our layout and do the routing based on those but as i will have odd part of the application and the dashboard part of the application i will also create uh, modules for those so here i will run ng generate m for module and odd i will also use a routing flag at the end so the basic routing is already implemented with uh, uh, this module and also i will create a module uh, that will be called dashboard so dash board and that is good and i wish also to have two components here so i will generate ng generate c4 component and the component will be in odd kind of odd module that i have and it will be login component with skip tests. And once again, I will need another component. It will be in dashboard uh, uh, part. So I will just use a dashboard here. So let's quickly see what we have here. Let me close this app component. And in my app, I have layouts, which is auth layout and dashboard layout. So there is uh, files for those. Uh, after my layouts, I also have the odd part, odd module, which is 
a module and routing module and also login component for that. And for dashboard, I have my dashboard module, routing module for it and also components, uh, well, component for that. Now that I'm here, I will also go to styles.css and here I will put base comment, target each element uh, through a HTML with this star sign and put padding to zero and margin to zero so my uh, elements, my content starts basically from zero, doesn't have that default margin and padding. So at this point, uh, we could start with our routing itself. So I will first do the routing uh, based on a model, model section. So basically, let's first do the uh, routing for uh, auth itself. So as we already have this auth routing model, we have this const routes, which is type of routes that is coming from Angular slash router. And here in this array, we could pass our routes. So first to pass the route, we should pass the object here. And the path of the route of the first route will be empty. And the component for that will be login component. It will be automatically imported from Angular itself. So the login component will be the component that we will serve here. Once the path that is uh, kind of... Uh, 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 visited empty but uh, we won't uh, use it like this uh, we will uh, use a child routes here so uh, for those i will pass a children property which is the array and inside now i will uh, pass path again and use auth and component uh, sorry i mistyped and component will be a login component that we all already implemented. So by this, once we visit the uh, auth model itself, uh, kind of slash auth, it will automatically redirect us to uh, this component here. So basically it will render a login component on our screen. So now I will copy entire these routes and open up the dashboard routing file. Let me paste this here. So dashboard routing will be similar here. So component here won't be login, but dashboard component which is again automatically imported from angular and dashboard component uh, will be also here as a child uh, uh, route but the path won't be odd at this point it will be dashboard and that is it so at this point we have routes for odd and dashboard models these routes are uh, imported in our dashboard routing uh, uh, model uh, sorry, in, in our, yeah, the dashboard routing model is imported in dashboard model itself. And auth routing, routing model is imported in auth uh, routing model. But our application in global still doesn't know anything about these routes. The reason for that, in our app, uh, app model, we don't have those routes anywhere. We are importing app routing model, which is the main routing part. And if we visit that, we can see that here we don't have the routes at all. We don't have any routes yet for our application. We just created those child routes uh, through different models that we have. So it is here where we, will, where we will connect our models with our main routing and also based on that create that multi-layout routing. So to do that here I will hit enter and I will first put comment here. We will have app routes. And after app routes, we will have auth routes. So the app route will come up first. So basically, what I wish to have here is the object and path for that will be empty. And if the path is empty, if we are visiting just a local host, we wish to uh, uh, render content from dash uh, from component dash board layout component. So as this is the app routes, we will render that layout and the layout uh, will uh, have different routes and those routes will be kind of child routes. So I will use children property here. Uh, it is the array itself and the path inside path will be still empty uh, and it will redirect us to path that is basically dashboard path. Dash board and uh, we also wish to set this path match to full to make sure that this uh, 
uh, this path is fully there so basically it will redirect us to uh, full path and uh, after that at this point if we are visiting the empty route of our application it will immediately uh, redirect us to dashboard but we don't have that dashboard yet so we, let's create that route for dashboard itself and uh, everything about this will be in this component in the layout component so to create a dashboard i will pass one more object here with the path of dashboard and we will uh, use here load children we won't use a component like we use for dashboard layout component no we will use load children and uh, this load children uh, is basically a function uh, which will give us something at the end it will return something for us the content that we wish to return is basically this this dashboard model as dashboard model is the model that has everything regarding our dashboard it has our component dashboard here it has also dashboard routing here so i wish here to import import yeah and what i wish to import this is the function i will import uh, string dot slash uh, dashboard slash dashboard dot model and uh, after i import i will use then as this will return promise for us we could have then and uh, it will return model for us so i could say model here or just m and once that returns we wish to use m dot dashboard model and you saw that it was automatic automatically uh, uh, visible there so at this point our routing for dashboard is finished and also it is a lazy loaded with this load children so it won't load once we are on, on the application itself but once we visit the dashboard part of the application so now let's create auth part of the application for the auth part here i will pass also path as empty then i will pass component that i wish to use and this will be auth layout component so we wish to use this layout and as we use for uh, the red line here is because i didn't put comma after these curly braces so as we use children here for our dashboard uh, layout we will also use here for auth layout so to pass a, a route for the uh, auth layout i will use path and i will set it again to an empty and now i will also use a redirect to to auth uh, route and also path match will be set to full so based on this still if our uh, uh, application is just on a local host just kind of visiting that local host it will still redirect us first to dashboard because uh, it is passed firstly but also you could again later integrate some guard or something like that if the user is not uh, logged in then uh, you will redirect that user to the auth this redirection is not important uh, really but it is kind of for the example here so you could see how this could work so uh, as we have this redirect to auth let's create that auth route so path for new route will be slash auth well just auth not slash auth and here we will again use load load children so as this is a function it will return to us so i will import here to import i will use that slash auth slash auth model and i will use again then m and it will return to us a, a model that uh, auth model and that is it so our routing is fully finished through our different modules and also in our main model but still we cannot uh, see any content for our routes so at this stage uh, we could create uh, our content for the application so we could see this multi layout in action first of all as i'm using a, a auth layout component and dashboard layout component i will visit those so let me close this a bit so we could start from scratch so you could see it uh, better so alt layout here uh, instead of this paragraph alt layout works i could use a router outlet uh, so this will basically mean that it will render all the routes from alt uh, uh, model itself uh, also i will do uh, 
similar to, well same thing here in my dashboard layout what i could also do here above my router i will create a header with uh, h3 that will say dashboard for example and i will quickly jump into css and i will target my header and let me put some padding for my header 15 pixel then i will have text aligned to center also i could put the background color uh, color yeah to crimson and let's say color of that heading to be a fffff kind of white one so here what you will see later uh, you will see this dashboard which will come immediately from the layout and uh, this one will render basically my dashboard component not layout component so i could have as many component visible and this dashboard will be shared through those component this uh, header so for my auth uh, layout i have my router outlet uh, but uh, this will just render my login uh, login component from auth model here so let's say uh, create some uh, different content here for, for login and you could see the different that we could use uh, difference uh, that we could use uh, directly component through router or even component and the router in the uh, same uh, part so here i will uh, have let's say the wrapper div with wrapper class and just the button inside which will say login so let's style this a bit also so here I could have a wrapper and uh, to style that I will use background color to be 3E6441 and then I will use, uh, well I will display this wrapper as a grid, I will then align items to center, this will align all of my items in center, but if I put height to 100VH it will also center my uh, items uh, vertically and horizontally so now let's style that button so wrapper and button inside and i will use width on the button to 100 pixel as i'm using grid i cannot uh, put my button in a, uh, in the middle of a screen i will use a uh, width for that and with width i could use a display here to be block and margin to be zero auto and uh, this will put my button in the middle of my screen so padding 12 pixel 16 pixel and background color could be f2 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 and color for the button could be 333 yeah and border uh, let's not put any border so none uh, cursor could be pointer so it it kind of looks that it is a click to action thing and one final thing that we that we didn't do here is come to this app component and remove whole content and now we could pass here router outlet so this is main part of the application uh, main component that will be rendered so here we will show all the routes basically use that router outlet which will uh, show different routes those routes would be our layout for the auth and also layout for the dashboard and those will have also child routes that we passed so now visiting my application if i refresh the page you can see that we are redirected to a dashboard part of the application where we could see the dashboard header which is coming from the layout and the dashboard works which is component itself and if i wish to go to odd part of the application we will see totally different layout we have a green background and that login button at this point tutorial for multi layout with angular is fully finished i hope that you like what you saw so please click like and subscribe as i'm posting new content weekly thank you and see you in the next one